Joining us right now to discuss Florida Congresswoman Kat Kamek. Congresswoman, I, I can't believe we're talking about Disney, which is in your home state, mm -hmm. uh, and even discussing these kinds of issues. They should be having, you know, uh, fun, yeah, amusement rides and, and little characters that they can identify with just as yeah. little not, people not running not around. Not sexualizing Disney no, no, characters. They're kids. This, this is just, I, I mean, how to react. I don't even know where to right. begin, quite frankly. I mean, Disney World is really, for so many American families around the country, this is the, what they aspire to, what they save all year for, to go to Disney, to give this incredible family experience that they'll remember for their entire lives. Right. It is this wholesome experience. And this has been corrupted by the ultra liberal left media and this wild leftist agenda that we are seeing infiltrate every aspect of our society. You would think that little boys and little girls who are so excited to go see their favorite characters would have nothing on their mind. But, hey, I want to go see my characters. I want to have some fun, right. ride the rides. But instead, Disney has completely gone woke. And they have bought into this crazy agenda. And the fact that you're hearing high ups within the Disney uh, Corporation talking about injecting queerness into every aspect, that's just, I mean, talk about out of touch. And then, of course, for the Oscars to kick off their, mm -hmm. their uh, show with this one's for you, Florida, and making a chant out of it, right. even yeah. though we know full well that the legislation, the parental rights bill that has been championed and signed by Governor DeSantis has nothing to do with that. It's an anti-grooming bill. It just goes to show how out of touch Hollywood and the left is with everyday Americans. We've got to get back to a sense of normalcy where Americans can actually go and enjoy themselves and, and not have to worry about worrying what pronouns they need to address a, a Disney character with. Yeah, and perhaps an indication uh, some of where this came from, uh, Disney's president, Carrie Burke, is apparently the mother of a transgender and pansexual child her words, and uh, she says that she also wants at least half of all future characters to be LGBTQIA or racial minorities. Um, and we are getting some breaking news right now that according to some draft documents reviewed by the Wall Street Journal, the Biden administration, this is a completely different story. Um, Hold on. That <laughs> and was, let's uh, throw in that the president all got right. his, Let, Yeah, his, this is three different everything. issues here. Three things we're talking about. I was about to start here. talking about Title 42. <laughs> You're seeing the president there get his second booster shot and right. then the comments about uh, Disney. So take your pick. The, uh, right. Anything you, you want to talk oh, about. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> let's just run down the line. I mean, you see you see uh, the CEO uh, of Disney make, you know, make statements like that. And, you know, her family is her family. I'm right. not going to wade into those waters. However, what the message she's saying now with the, 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 the comment about we need to have at least half of our characters be a member of this community, what she's telling every little boy and girl is not to strive for greatness, but to strive to check a box. That's what they're saying. Yeah. They only care about what box you check, and that's what we're teaching kids these days. Instead of equal opportunity, we're talking about equal outcome, and that's wrong. That's anti-American. Everyone, regardless of what box you check, you should be able to compete. You should be able to do whatever you would like to do because that is the basis and foundation of America. You, know, you just hit on Title 42 uh, and Title 42 going away would be a disaster. We're seeing 200,000 people come across the border illegally. We, this would jump up to 300,000. Total disaster. Here in Congress actually today, we are working on legislation to block this. And as far as President Biden getting his uh, fourth booster, I'm yeah. not sure if this is the third or fourth. Uh, I've pretty much lost count at this point. Fourth shot. Let me tell you, this this is getting ridiculous, and all I have to say is follow the money. But also, well, I was just going to say, yeah. he asked for more money also mm -hmm. uh, to fund more monoclonal antibody. Which, which they tried to hold back from the state of Florida, correctly? Correct? Exactly. They yeah. did. When the, when the monoclonal antibody treatment was producing incredible results, and there was zero discrimination, whether you were vaccinated or unvaccinated, because people who were vaccinated were coming in for monoclonal treatment. The, the feds, they mm -hmm. withheld the money for it, and then they took away the authorization. Because the whole treatment plan has never been about actually treating COVID. In my opinion, this has turned into a debacle of, let's just keep getting people boosted. Let's make yeah. sure we keep operating on yeah. these ridiculous emergency mandates, yeah. even though we know that COVID will be a long time part of our lives moving here forward. Somebody's making billions of dollars from it. Not me. Yeah.
But uh, <laughs> extra credit for answering three questions yes. <laughs> at one time. Very nice. Thank you, Congress, uh, Congresswoman Kamek. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you both. Have a good one. Yeah.